this is some people's favorite question. Uh, okay. Can there be ecological sanity in a world system based on growth? And do you, or do you think growth could be redefined and replaced with something else? And can capitalism persist under another, under another paradigm? Um, <laughs> the answer to the initial question is obviously no. <laughs> we can't find ecological sustainability based on growth. Um, it's just illogical. The majority of the world is not benefiting from our system of growth. The system that we now have, which is global economics, global capitalism, global market economy, and so on, I think that's just a really failed, obsolete, um, absurd system. And the absurdity of it is really well revealed now by the limitations of the planet, by, the, by climate change, by global resource depletion, water, forests, arable soil, fish in the seas, uh, key minerals and so on, that's all, the, the basis of industrial society and economic growth is over. I do not think that the current system is sustainable in any way, shape or form. I just know that what's happening is, is wrong and um, that we obviously can't keep on growing. It's just sort of intuitive, you know, you know, you, you can't do that. I think you have to redefine it. I, I think you can have economic health without growth. You have new products, you have, you have different way of delivering them. I, I mean, look at, well, we can get into a whole, I mean, we go on for hours, man. We need to have our work be integrated with the actual physical reality of, of the earth that we live on and the limited resources. Economic growth in a limited system simply doesn't, does not work, you know. So everybody goes and buys a Prius, come on, what? What are you going to do? <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's going to solve the problem. I, I don't think that there can be ecological sanity in a system based on growth. There are ways to move forward that aren't growth. There are, there are ways to progress that are not growth. It's Abby who said that growth for its own sake is the logic of the cancer cell. And that's just so apparent to me, right? There's nothing in nature that grows forever. We need to find a steady state economy. The population is so big that if we were going to grow, I don't know where we could get the resources to grow. I think, uh, a friend, growth is a really horrible term. <laughs> I think it's a, a misconception, it represents a misconception of what's enjoyable for the human species. Clearly, economic growth is the model of our society and it's completely antithetical to ecological sustainability. Sustainability is, you know, a steady state or even possibly regenerating the systems that exist and making them more productive over the long term. I actually think growth is the number one wisdom we take from natural systems, is this idea of recycling, is this idea of death and renewal. The economy, I think, is over the long haul going to, as we understand it now, is going to continue to contract. More people are going to continue to lose their jobs. And what we think of as jobs and livelihood is going to go through a transition, and we better start getting our heads around it quickly because people are hurting. The economy that's going to, that's going to be valid is, is kind of a um, participatory local, small-scale, or regional economy where it's not about wages, it's really about participation in all economic processes. Livelihood in the future may look like a combination of part-time, small-scale urban farmer in your backyard, plus some barter work and some exchange work and maybe some part-time work driving a bus. You know, it might be a much more creative patchwork thing. Part of that idea of living within our own means and challenging the idea of growth is realizing that there's not that many techno fixes. We're not in a technological predicament, we're in a social, cultural, political predicament. There are so many areas that are uh, still unexplored for living together on the planet. There's so many programs and um, policies that are possible. Uh, it's really uh, a new world that way.